Welcome, Libra Dedici here from astrology.com.au. It's the last month of 2019. I wanted to focus in on your ruling planet Venus here, which uh, I started talking about last month, but it's important to note that Venus gains what we call directional strength here. That's important because it, it strengthens you as a person here and through the mechanism of this fourth house, which has been suffering for some time, I might add, with, with uh, transformative Pluto and, and obstructive Saturn. Mind you, Saturn for you is one of the better planets. It rules this fourth and fifth house. It's the co-ruler of the fifth house. Therefore, its malefic influence is minimized to a large extent. And the combination of Venus, as it makes its contact with Saturn, is going to bring some very happy events in your home life, from, from what I can see here. Notice also, too, for the first time in 12 years, the transit of Jupiter into this very, very important fourth house, which has to do with your domestic happiness, real estate transactions, one's mother, one's genetic family. The family as a whole is dominated by this. And there is a dictum in astrology that when Venus and Saturn, in any horoscope for that matter, um, come together, it's a, it's a very, very important transit. Now for you, because Venus is your ruling planet, Saturn is what we call the uh, special endower of good fortune, ruling the fourth and fifth house that you see here um, from around the 6th of December, this conjunction is very, very important. That also coincides with, take a look up here, as the moon makes its way into its full moon position here, right opposite the sun in the ninth house. So the fourth house is family, ninth house is the higher mind, the higher understanding. It can do with journeys, but I'm getting a sense here that all of this <clears throat> energy in the hidden part of the horoscope. And if you take this east west horizon line, you'll notice that everything underneath here is indeed under the earth for those of you born in, um, in Libra, with the exception of Uranus and this quick transiting moon. Um, a lot of stuff is going on within yourself in the last few, uh, few weeks of 2019. So most of the work is going to take place here within yourself, within your family. Venus moves out of this area um, later in the month. It makes a transition here to your fifth house as the Sun and Mercury also come back in here to replace it. Uh, so you're not really going to escape the promptings of this fourth house. That has to do with vehicles as well. It has to do <clears throat> with real estate transactions. Not all of you are going to experience this fourth house influence in exactly the same way. For some of you, it's going to manifest uh, internally. For some of you, it's going to have to do with your mother and your family, and especially because we look at the date here. If you're wondering when these dates are happening, just keep your eye on these dates here as I'm telling you the influence here. This transit of Jupiter here is going to activate a lot more communication with the family. Venus moves to the fifth house there on the 20th, 21st. What this means is that there's still a connection, I think, to your family. Fifth house has to do with children. If you're a parent, this is going to be a very, very important focal point for you. Fifth house is also your personal self-expression. For those of you that have been hamstrung hamstrung <laughs> hamstrung by the by the position of Saturn and Pluto here in your fourth house that can make make you feel a little bit down and a little bit stuck it's nice having had Venus there then look you got expansive and buoyant optimistic Jupiter then bright sunny Sun all moving into this area this is really a big shift for you and I'm going to tell you the next important transit that highlights that is this new moon also taking place here. There it is on the 26th, 27th, the day after Christmas. So this is an important family orientated Christmas for you. I would say to you that if you don't generate energy and bring your attention to this part of your life, this department, you're going to really miss out on a lot of the benefits, a lot of beautiful energy that can be experienced 
in that area of your life. You notice also that new moon coming into the fifth house. So the new moon means turning over a new page, having a look at things differently, a brand new perspective on things. There again, I often say the new moon, even if it's if it's transited into the next sign, will bring with it some very, very important changes in that next house as well. That has to do with your children. That has to do with the way you express yourself. Um, and that is going to be a really nice counterpoint for these heavy laden planets like Saturn and Pluto. This is the start of a new year. I'm going to talk about 2020, what I call the future vision, when you come back next, because uh, that transit of Jupiter, which only happens once every 12 years, indicates that this year coming is very, very uh, focused in this very same area. But we're going to note some uh, slight variations and differences on that. And I would like to share how that's going to pan out in 2020. In the meantime, I've given you a sneak preview at astrology.com.au. I have the 3000 words I've written for each and every star sign. So you can read what's happening in the next year, some of those key transits. You can drop me a line by all means. You can subscribe, definitely subscribe. And uh, till I see you next, I hope you have a happy, safe, blessed Christmas and uh, take care. Bye bye now.